Alright, I'm here. I think everything's working, cool. Alright, I... I might be the only one here. But no boards here as well. Hello. How's it going? Is the game too loud? Xanderina, hello. Douglas, hello. Sternvogel, hello. Yeah, I feel like the game might be slightly too loud. But... And there's no, like, master volume? There's only... There's only this. So we'll do that, and tell me if it's too quiet. I can turn it up. Sir, good username here. Hello. Welcome. Just become a member. Yeah, I saw, um... I was just having a look at on Twitch, and apparently there is a button you can press that makes it so that subs still get ads. I was like, damn, that's that's rough. I, I will never activate that. I'll have to be, like, going homeless to activate that, so don't worry. game looks interesting yeah i'm um this is just the demo the game's coming out in like a month i think it comes out in march i'm not sure how much content there is here so like if we're kind of done with it after an hour then then we'll just play something else but um but yeah i did want to check this out it looks looks like it could be cool uh crabulon just wanted to say your XCOM videos make my day. Oh, thank you. Hope, hope you enjoy them. Generally only catch these in the early morning or lunch. Yeah, yeah, it's um... I get it, man, it's all good. Anyone who presses that button should be home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just like, man, that's, that's rough, hey. You know, you sub to a channel and still get ads. Oof. I'm a member of the Patreon, though. Ah, oh, appreciate it. Rex, hello. Alright, so should we just jump into this one? I did, um... It says continue there. I did... I played the game for, like, two seconds. I, I didn't even get into gameplay. I just wanted to make sure it was working alright, so... I really have no idea what we're about to see. But uh, let's let's see, I guess. Does the audio sound muffled. Oh no! I hope not. A sudden jolt awakens you as you hear the distinct beeping of doors opening. As reality creeps back in, you slowly recognize your surroundings, the cramped confines of your quarters on the Atlas. Lena Starling. Hey, wake up. The captain wants to see us on the command deck. He seems pretty agitated, and you look groggy as hell. So just let me do the talking. I can do that. In fact, I would like nothing more than that.
Sorry, y'all, I just got some sinus problems happening. Haven't come and chat since XCOM Long War Grenadiers. Oh, damn, that is a while ago. Um, but yeah, I hope you're going well as well. The screen's small. No, the screen is small. This is... Yeah, it's not you. It's not you. I think when, once the gameplay starts, it'll, it'll get full-sized. Uh, there's an unusual flurry of activity as you enter the command deck. The captain, studying the data feed, uh, data feed on one of the consoles, beckons the two of you over. Well, okay, our captain... Speaking of homeless guys, that's what our captain looks like. Um, like, at least get a shirt that covers your, your chest, bro. Our infrared sensors detected a large explosion in Solari space, right where one of their research stations is located. Whatever they're up to looks like it didn't go as planned. So this might be our big break then, a chance to turn this scavenging mission around and not go home empty-handed. Yeah, we can get some corpses, that'll be fun. Could well be, we're closer to the station than any of the Solari fleets in the system. We can't risk approaching with the Atlas, however, as it would be picked up by the fleet scanners and we'd be done for. Right, this is where we come in. Small ship like the Mag... The Magpie, bros. Magpies are genuinely my most hated creature in the world. I despise them. Oh, man. Okay. Launched at our current speed could get there undetected. It'll run on minimal reactor capacity using only maneuvering thrusters for full flight path adjustments. With all due respect, sir, the fireworks will likely attract other scavengers by the time we get there. Which is why the lieutenant here is tasked with protecting the mad... Bro, I'm not protecting the magpie. It's not happening. Oh man, sorry about that, y'all. This cutscene is, is going on. In case things go south, I'll assemble a team while you make the necessary preparations. Report to the docking bay in 30 minutes. Prepare to head out. Cool. Okay. So yeah, I think the game is 100% space combat. Like, you don't actually fight with your soul, like, like, on the ground or anything. Um, the ship's status screen... Okay, and then done. Man, we gotta get rid of the magpie as soon as we can. Will you ever do another Pokemon challenge run? I've actually, I've recorded one, and I've even written the script for it. Um, I just gotta record it and edit the video. So yes, I will. Currently bearing witness to four consecutive 30 second ads, oof. Yeah, I um, I had to get YouTube Premium, eh? Because I just couldn't deal with ads anymore, and it is the best thing ever. YouTube Premium is amazing. Star Wars vibes, nice. Yeah, I, um, I can see that. Sorry, guys, my nose is going crazy this morning. Do you use your phone or PC more for YouTube? Uh, I mainly use my Xbox because I watch on my TV. Um, and, and my phone when I'm driving, I'll just have something playing on the background. Uh, if we just follow the nav points I laid out, we should be at the wreckage in about two days and then we rendezvous back with the Atlas. So is this us, or is this our pilot? Are we just some, like, nameless, faceless, shadowy figure? Yeah. Oh, I really don't see why the captain decided to put you in charge of my ship. 
Watch your tone while we're on this mission. This is your new captain. Come on now, we got a mission to do. You can all fight once we're back on the hauler. Soon things settle down and everyone is at their assigned post time and start familiarizing yourself with the ship's command console. Okay, cool. Your console flashes a warning indicating combat near your flight path. Not long after, the infrared sensors flare as a ship explodes. The remaining ship changes course, heading in your direction. Uh-oh. There's no way their sensor spotted us. We've been running cold for almost a day now. Just their luck then, their flight path will take them right within radar detection range. Okay. Recently factory reset my PC and it feels like the best thing ever. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they um they really slow down over time, don't they? All right, so this is your hand of cards displaying the actions you can take each turn. Each card requires resources to play, shown as a number in the lower part of the card. Okay, and this is how many resources we have. Current energy, the white number shows your energy income at the start of next turn. Resources carry over between turns, that's cool. Enemy actions are based on their equipment. Each piece of equipment has a card slot indicating the next action. Cards gain one pip each turn. When all pips are filled, the card's border turns white, signaling that it will be played on the next turn. Man, I'm so confused already, hey? You play cards by dragging and dropping them over the crosshair region. Attack the enemy by playing two slice cards to advance. Okay. So what did that do to these guys? So does it kind of split the damage between them? See, so okay, so at this stage we can't target one thing. Specifically. The only bird worse than a man, by my opinion, is the pheasant. <laughs> Little buggers keep running into the middle of the road. Yeah, they are annoying like that, eh? Especially, um... When you're on a motorbike, you don't want those things flying out at you. I watch you while I play XCOM, nice. Is the screen frozen? Okay, cool, no, the screen's not frozen, sweet. Driving with your phone out, dangerous and illegal. No, no, you just, you set the video to play beforehand and then you just chuck it on the seat next to you. And it just goes. Uh, shields your primary defense with each shield point blocking one damage. Yeah, okay. Shields have at the start of each turn. Shields halve at the start of each turn. So deploy shield cards just before an enemy attack for maximum effectiveness. Right. The enemy ship is about to attack by a block card to prevent hull damage from the enemy's upcoming attack. And we put you that are now on. shielded. Whoa, that was loud. After playing a card, it moves to your cooldown pile. Cooldown the duration is indicated by the number next to the weird clock icon. Once off cooldown, it returns to your draw pile. Press the tab key or click the card status UI for an overview of cards in your draw pile in your hand or on cooldown. Oh my gosh. The tab key. Right, so they're on cooldown. That's interesting. That that says three for cooldown, but there it says two. So which one is it? Hmm. So he's got a white. Okay, so the white border means that's what he's about to do. Future of Space War is showing the enemy's magic card tricks. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, it's um, kind of reminds me of Midnight Suns, but without all the cringe. Uh, 
Persistent effects on your ship appear above your card hand, right? So we got damage over time, y'all. Some effects last for a set amount of turns, <laughs> while others have an upkeep. Hey, Drifter, how's it going? I'm brute forcing my way through learning Blender. It's not going well now. Devon, hello. Thank you for the sub. I got notifications working again, y'all. I got notifications working. Uh, yeah, Blender. Yeah, I played around with Blender once and just went, nah, that's that's enough for me. This, this, th th this is not for me. And I never tried again. So good luck, man. Good luck. Feels more like Darkest Dungeon. Yeah, I can see that as well. Just feels like Pokemon remodeled. <laughs> also, I can see that. All right, so um, all right, so upkeep, uh, all right, an upkeep condition you have to meet each turn to maintain the effect. Okay, so we might have positive things too. All right, so what does this do? Deal plus one damage. Play at least one attack per turn. Oh yeah, we can do that. That sounds like a great idea. So we do that, and now that's gonna do five damage. Yeah, so did did we do five damage though? I don't know. Oh god, what's he gonna do? He's doing a shield pulse. Well, I guess that won't hurt us, will it? Oh, how dare you, sir! Oh. So should we block first, and then we slice? Enemy shields down. But we have no more attacks. So we can't do anything. Boom. Hey, we got him. Fantastic. Still not entirely sure what I'm doing. Are starting to get pretty lively. We should expect more combat on our approach to the station. Looks like we're not the only one stupid enough to raid a Solari facility. Too late to hide our presence now, asking for permission to restore the reactor's ordnance protocol. That should allow us to squeeze some more power out of it. We'll also improve our laser's photon output. Permission granted. Override the cutter safety protocols. We'll need more firepower. So, so it doesn't really give you a choice. You just you're doing whatever the game tells you to do. Eye Captain, that should enable it to emit concentrated laser pulses. Won't be a military grade laser, but it'll be close. Okay, you now have access to the Ordnance resource. Ordnance is the main resource for attacks. Open your ship status screen now to inspect your resource area. Left click on the Ordnance resource to add your extra reactor power to it. Left click. Boom. Oh. You can redistribute power, reactor power between your resources at any time. On energy twice to remove the power from it. Left click twice. Okay, cool. All right. To close the ship status screen, click on the button again. Nice. Yeah, it's it's very. I like the visuals of it. It's kind of relaxing even though guys are out there trying to kill us speaking of darkest dungeon playing more br nice i've made an inverted box and that's become my staple somehow i made the box less than an hour ago nice all right yeah i yeah you're doing better than me so wouldn't it be a zob I was playing Long War of the Chosen this morning and my ranger missed a 100% shot with his sawn off. Why did Iron Jesus forsake me? <laughs> yeah, there's still people out there who will tell you you can't miss a 100%, but... But we know that you can. 
Prepare combat protocols. Okay, so I'm guessing it's just gonna send me out on my own this time. You can redistribute reactor power anytime in combat. Okay. Right, and so the and so abilities use either the green or the orange. I understand. Adding one power to a resource generates one heat. Heat changes take place after the next card. So I'm guessing we don't want to max out the heat. I'm guessing that would be bad if we did that. Yeah, deals one hull damage at the start of your turn. Okay. But we have 50 hull points, it looks like. So if we do that... And then we... Oh, and that uses both. Right. Oh, and then so we either attack or we can put up a shield, but we can't do both. Hmm. Shields up, Captain. Yeah, right. Well, we'll go defensive this turn, and then we'll get him next turn. Maybe. Oh, which means I wasted my targeting thing, hey. Cards with the boom icon look like, like the laser pulse are precision attacks that can target specific enemy equipment. Drag and drop these cards over an enemy equipment card or UI. Or in over a piece of equipment on the ship model to attack it. Cool. Yeah, alright. So we can target specific systems. It's like slop field, except uh, not slop. You can right click to disc. Oh, okay. Discard unwanted cards. Yeah, okay. So it is like Midnight Suns, yeah. So if we get rid of one of those. Oh, I can't do it right now, though. Or maybe we should use both of those and target one of these things. Devin, got your braces removed. Have retainers now, so the pain is now... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've still got like a metal thing on the bottom row of my teeth that's been there for like 20 years at this point. Ever thought about multiplayer games with chat? Yeah, I have done it before. Um, I'm just... I'm not sure my internet would be able to handle it these days. Between streaming and the game, I think it might... Oh, how good's this? And it tells you where on the ship it is. Oh, that's so good. Cool. It's going to do three damage. And this thing has 10 HP. What? Why is that? Why does that have a cross through it? Let's see what happens. Because it's shielded, so it's not going to damage it. I understand. But we're getting rid of its shield. Okay. Yeah, this is cool. You can right click to discard unwanted cards, freeing up a slot for the next row. Oh yeah, okay. So it's gonna keep annoying me until I do that. So boom. Yeah, and then we can draw more cards next time. Alright, so let's do that. Yeah. So the fact that this is red, so that means that does so does that mean he can't use this anymore? I think that's what it means. Which means he can't attack us, so... Yeah. Yeah, he's helpless. So what if we just keep hitting that? Enemy shields down. Alright, so can we... No, wait, we want that one. Why can't I use this? Can I not use the same attack? I don't know. 
Oh no, because it's that same card that we already used and it's on cooldown. In Long War, the chance hit rolls are inverse and you and the enemy need to roll. So if you roll 100 but they do as well in the RNG contest, then you miss. But that only happens with shotguns and melee in Long War. Yeah, but like you can miss 100 in, in base game as well. Shield up. Yeah, well, I think we're... I, I think we're pretty good now. I, I, th I think this guy's... But, like, he is he repairing that each turn? Oh, yeah, he literally can't do anything to us. Unluckiest, bro. And then, boom. Okay, so he's... And it gets full HP back once they repair it. Well, that's horrifying, isn't it? That is really scary. Yeah, wow. All right, so we should win. Nice. Infrared emitter. What does that do? Any attack from this weapon that deals hull damage adds plus one heat. To them, I'm assuming, not to us. Click on the flashing subsystem to add it to your cargo bay. Cool. Cool, so we get loot. As some dude said, the best offense is a good defense. Or the other way around. Yeah, I think it was the other way around. I certainly subscribe to offense over defense. Am I the only one with a black screen for the stream? Yes, apparently you are. You fixed it? Cool. Base game, X Base game XCOM code is held together by shoelace and press. <laughs> well, some of the best games always are, though. Hey, like Skyrim's the same. But I still love it. Captain, we should hook up the mass refiner module to the reactor. It's crucial for improving our reactor's power output and strengthening the magpie shield system. Yeah, don't remind me that we're on the bloody magpie. It was originally meant for deflecting dust and minor asteroids, not high-powered lasers. I can modify it to suspend high-density particles in its magnetic field, diffusing laser beams and absorbing kinetic force. This improves defense but requires mass. All right, does anyone understand what that means? Because because I don't. It's going to improve our shields. Is that is that the takeaway? We've also salvaged a functional subsystem from that ship. I'm sure we can put it to good use. Might help us get out of this in one piece. I'll be claiming that as reparations for my ship when we're back on the Atlas. The Magpie will need a new coat of paint once all of this is over. You can upgrade your reactor with credits. You gather on your journey to upgrade your reactor... Uh, open the menu screen. Yeah, we, oh. Okay. Click on the upgrade button below. You now have access to the mass resource used for upgrades and repairs. Add your upgraded whatever power unit to, to mass by left clicking on its resource area. I see. So this gives us more points. I'm with ya. I'm with ya. And subsystems. Cool. So we would take this and put it... Put it... In there. Wait, what? Is it there? What? It... Yeah, right, okay. In infrared emitter. Yeah, okay. It is there. It is there. I'm amazed that Skyrim even runs with how its code is made. Yeah. I mean, you knew Fallout 76 was going to be bad, eh? When they put that, that busted code into a multiplayer setting. The best game you ever played, in your opinion? Uh, oh, I'd have to say XCOM 2. I'd have to say XCOM 2. Um, there's an ant that I have to smush. I got it. 
I got it. Felt like XCOM, you have like 30 videos on it. Yeah, that's right. Um, Alright, so we... Yeah, okay, and it's just kind of giving us a course. The remains of the station are in view. Things seem quiet, but the tension in the crew is palpable. It's just giving me real... Um, What's that show in those books? The Expanse. It's kind of reminded me of The Expanse. Judging by the infrared mission emissions there should still be some functional equipment we can salvage in that section over there oh okay we've got a we've got a choice wait look at the fluctuation in those readings i'll bet you a week's rations that there's a ship lying in wait to spring an ambush prep the laser and let's go around and get the jump on them instead advantage first attack deals plus three down all right let's do it Crew members have abilities you can activate at will during combat. To inspect crew abilities, hover over a crew member's portrait. Abilities do not use regular resources, instead they cost command points and have a cooldown after use. Your command point capacity is determined by the amount of crew on board. Plus three max command points per crew member. Alright, so next attack, played this turn deals plus 50% damage. Gain two of each resource. Next shield card played. This gives plus 50% shield points. Well, okay, so these these abilities sound pretty good. Um, yeah, this guy's a lot more powerful. So, we've got 12 shield points. And we have no shields. Well, this, this could be interesting, couldn't it? What a... That's plus one. Okay. So. Enemy shields down. Okay. Yeah, and then we might get rid of one of those. And then let's see what he does to us. It's going to be bad, isn't it? Oh. Oh dear. Incoming enemy missile. You can track missiles in the lower left part of the screen above your hull points. Missiles have a delay of one or more turns before they hit. You can defend against missiles by playing shield cards or shooting them down with special missile defense cards. Right, so that's... So deals four damage and it's coming in one turn. So we want to... We want to gain six shield points, hey. And should we use this guy... Okay, cool. So we use it. So all you have to do is click. And then boom. And then that gives us nine. That's pretty good. I like the music too. Alright, so I think the shield protected us. Right, well, we don't need... We don't need two. Y'all heard of the new Fallout show being made? Yeah. I'm iffy on it, but I'm willing to give it a chance, a small one. Yeah, I'm on the same, O'Neill. It's probably going to suck, but, you know, I, I might watch it just to just to see. Because is it on... is it on Amazon? I think it's on Amazon, hey. And, you know, we, we saw what they did with Rings of Power, so... 
So how many command points do we have? I've got four. And that uses five. Okay. Hers uses four. So can you keep hitting it after it's damaged? Yeah, but it won't go below three. Although, we overheated him. Oh, sweet. So surely this is going to wipe him out, right? Yeah, awesome. Basic missile. Oh, now we get their missile launcher. Cool. Click on the add card button. Select a card to add for any piece of equipment on your ship that has available card slots to fill. What? Deplete. Gain four of the red one. So the... Pick a card to add... So I can pick one of these. Is that what it's saying? And 10 shield points. <laughs> and O'Neill with the sub. Thank you very much. Rex, you're out of here. Catch you later. Have a good one. Season 2 of Halo is not awful so far. Didn't they... Didn't they take the dude's helmet off? They, they had Master Chief take his helmet off. Um, I'm not watching it. Deal 4 damage. All pulse cards played this turn deal plus 1 damage. I feel like this could be good, getting resources. We don't really have cards that let us do that, so... We might do that one. And then, yeah, now, now we got missiles. Cool. Morale determines the rate at which your crew command points recharge on entering a node. Some choices in events can affect crew morale temporarily or permanently. So it's pretty in-depth, this game. Area clear, no further hostiles in engagement range, deploying a recon drone for a visual sleep sweep of wreckage. Look behind that plating. God, I can't speak. Look behind that plating. That black box is the station's main data storage and backup unit. It's bound to have a lot of valuable research data we can sell. Who knows what they were cooking up here? Are you out of your mind? If the Solari catch wind of us stealing that, we're as good as dead. We need a new air recycling and ventilation system back at the station, don't we? This is why we went on the scavenging run in the first place. This will bring in enough credits for all that and more. Enough squabbling. We've got a limited window before more hostiles arrive. Our orders were to retrieve all valuable salvage, so let's get to work. The crew quickly works to retrieve the black box and fill the magpie's cargo bay with any valuable salvage they can find. After the work is done, you set course for the rendezvous point with the Atlas. Open your ship's status UI screen to inspect your salvage equipment and install it on your ship. Oh, he took it off in season one, right? Yeah, I didn't watch season one. Oh, obviously I didn't watch this one. Might be a good sign, not hoping though, yeah. Well. Um, I, I, I hope you enjoy it. Drag the equipment from the cargo bay and drop it on the appropriate empty hard point. This will add one extra card slot and the cards from that equipment to your deck while in combat. The launch bay. Right. All right, so now we've got a missile attack as well. Yeah, I'm liking this. All right, so how do we how do we get out of here? Here we go. So now we're going here. Even though it wasn't the atlas here. So can we go back? No. So yeah, it is kind of linear. Although it looks like we might have a choice up here, either go this way or this way. Incoming tight beam transmission from the Atlas. 
Magpie, this is the Atlas, we've got a situation, the Solaria flagged us for interrogation, they most likely got all their sensors pointed at us until we meet up with their patrol ships. Any attempt to pick you up would incriminate us both, we'll be fine, but I'm afraid you'll have to return to the station on your own, keep your burn minimal and maintain a low profile until you're clear. I've heard about Solari inter inter interrogation methods, oh my gosh, I wouldn't want to be on the Atlas right now. There's an alternate route we can take that will keep us away from any major flight corridors and known Solari fleet positions. Should work, we have enough Delta V and remaining fuel to get us to the station. That'll take us straight through deadweight controlled territory though. A solitary scavenger ship is sure to attract some attention from those pirate scum. We best be on our toes. There are two path types in Breachway. Main paths, shown as blue lines, allow only forward movement. Secondary paths, marked by thin yellow lines, permit both forward and backward movement. Moving a node on a secondary path consumes one fuel. Right, so in this case we don't have a choice, but maybe sometimes you will. Captain, we've intercepted a distress call. The civilian transport is under attack by a deadweight radar. They won't last long without our intervention. If we reroute power to the thruster for max burn, we could intercept in time, pulling the raider's focus. That's too risky. It would leave us exposed during the approach. The deadweight could attack us freely, and we'd be defenseless until combat systems are online. It's a calculated risk. Diverting their fire from the transport to us is the only way to save that ship. Our hull should hold against the barrage. Huh. Yeah, okay, so so our, our crew wants us to do the noble thing. My main problem with the Halo TV show is that the show wasn't based off of the games, and is instead its own thing, as well as how the director's never played any Halo games before, yeah. Not a big Halo fan, so most of all my issues with the show was within the show itself and how all over the place it was, yeah. Yeah, I used to love Halo. Yeah, Halo 3, man. Oh, that game was so good. Used to play so much multiplayer of that. And the campaign was really good, too. Um, Alright, let's 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 go. It's the right call. Preparing for the maneuver now. Alright, you divert all power to the engines and fire up the thrusters to the maximum capacity. Before long, the deadweight ship stops firing on the civilian transport and turns its attention to you. So I'm guessing they're going to get to go first, is what this means. Yeah. Flak weapons. Flak inflicts random damage within a range. Attacks have a shredding value. Hull damage from a flak attack that is equal or higher than the attack shredding value triggers a shred status effect on the target what higher than the attack shredding value triggers a, okay so so you've got a chance to shred when you attack each shred stack raises flax minimum damage by one shred decreases by one if not reapplied in a turn wow that sounds really bad um and we bros we don't have any shields so oh god Oh god. Missile launched. Um Yeah, I don't like the sound of this flak thing. Yeah, we might just wait, I think. Uh-oh. Are we shredded? We've been shredded! Oh, dear. Cool, alright, but our missile hit. Um, alright, so thank goodness. We've, we've got a shield now, so that's nice. I want to keep hitting that thing, so that's really scary. And then, yeah, we might just do that. Then we'll end the turn. Ok, 
I don't really say I grew up with Halo, well I appreciate it, I can't exactly be into it when I'm still a Star Wars nerd. You can be both, I think. Um, we'll do that. And then yeah, let's do that one. Okay, cool, we took out their flak barrage thing, that's awesome. Sweet, we disabled all their weapons. Very nice. Uh, yeah, we might as well put up a shield. No reason not to. And then... I think this should finish him. Cool, we got him. Ooh, what's this? Alright, so what do we want to add? Gain one shield point every time you play a laser or ion attack. That sounds like it could be good. If you don't have shields, add 12 shield points in one duration. Otherwise, add 6 shield points. Oh man, these are all pretty good. Deal two damage three times in one deplete. What? What's a deplete? Remove from battle once played, right, okay. So you can only use that one once per, per mission. Deal three damage two times precision. Yeah, these are all quite good, hey. I do like this though, like just keep stacking that shield again and again. Alright, so is this what it gives us? Right, and it lets us shoot missiles, okay. That's cool. The point defense cannon you salvage from the enemy goes on the Orgs mount, or auxiliary mount. Providing effective defense against enemy missiles, auxiliary equipment operates without a crew member, but doesn't add an extra card slot in combat. Boom. Okay. I was hoping that ship might, like, give us something cool for saving them, but... No. That's a bit trash. What was your favourite challenge run you've done? Ooh. Favourite. That's tough. That is tough. Just trying to think. I mean, the no guns one is... is horrible as it was it was really satisfying when we finally did it and um the sparks one was a lot of fun as well so may maybe one of those ones uh, a large part of it has been stripped clean by scavengers but upon closer inspection one of the maintenance bays still seems to be functional it might not look like it but some of the equipment left here is actually in good working conditions I think there is too much text hey like we don't need all this narrative. Just let us just let us fight ships. That's that's all that we want to do. Um, okay, so twelve hull points repaired. Oh, so we oh we don't recover hull points. Oh. God, okay, so you really don't want to take damage outside of battle. I mean inside battle, is what I'm trying to say. Gunship is getting ready to fire. They must have some stealth tech that kept them hidden from the magpie sensors until they made their way into direct engagement range. We've got an incoming hail. There you are, little magpie. We've been looking forward to having a word with you. This doesn't need to get messy. Hand over that data core you've got in your hold and you'll fly away unscathed with the rest of your salvage. Power down and prepare for boarding. Captain, if we power down our reactors as good as dead. 
we're dead either way we can't take a light cruiser on in this ship then we go down swinging I'm not taking orders from a pirate engage combat protocols we make our stand I like it saddens me to hear you chose violence captain the data core is designed to withstand thermonuclear blasts don't expect us to hold back oh gosh the worst one you've done then probably psyops hey that was just that was so bad careful that spread shot can shoot down our missiles I see so do we want I guess we want to do this Threshold, right. Now we probably don't need two of these, do we? Yeah. Okay. Oh. That's not real good, is it? Just thinking, should we use this? Because, yeah, if we had. Oh, no. See, we can't play both of those, hey? Alright, so I reckon we use that. We do that. Shields up, Captain. And then, what one do we want to hit with? This has the least amount of health, so I guess we go after that. Alright. Oh dear. Oh. They're really hitting us, hey. This is... This is not great. Alright, cool. We got his laser, so that's something. So that is something. We're hit. Oh dear. This is real bad, y'all. Um, yeah. Shielding in hand. Alright, well, I think we're about to cook them, are we? Hopefully. Incoming missile. Oh, no. Alright. More shields? We need more shields. We need all the shields. Ash, how's it going? A boss battle, yeah. This this is like a boss battle, isn't it? That's that's what's happening. Consider doing a personal run with only four rookies, but on rookie or veteran difficulty, yeah, that'd still be rough, hey. When can we expect the next video? Um, hoping before the end of this month, but it might be might be early next month. We'll just we'll just see. For some reason, this game is putting me in the mood to play FTL again. Yeah, I've never played FTL. If missile incoming, destroy one missile. L steal two damage. So if we play that. Enemy missile intercepted. Okay, so we stop their missile and then we can do that. It's a good challenge run for someone looking to start XCOM challenge runs. I think the solo class runs are probably good. They're not um They're not too difficult. 
Your shield is gone again. Wait a sec. Wait. Shields up, Captain. Oh, but we can't actually do anything else. Um, Alright. Hopefully we draw some lasers, y'all. That's what we need. When is there not a good mood to play FTL, yeah. One class challenges are pretty fun, just ask Drifter. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I started, so it's probably a good place to give it a go. Alright, so, oh, yeah, we just, we don't have enough of the energy. So maybe we, oh, but like, look, he's, he's gonna laser us, bros. I mean, we can use this. And then, yeah, see, so we have to choose between a shield and attack, but, oh, no, they're sending in a missile, so we gotta, so we need more cards that just use red attacks that don't use green. Holy moly! We're getting destroyed! Shield up, Captain. Yeah, we need some more of those, bro. We really do. Um, I'm even gonna get rid of that. We are just getting wrecked here. Incoming missile. Uh, uh. Okay, we, we disabled something, thank goodness. Yeah, like we can't use this anyway because we just keep using it for our shield, so. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is brutal. I think we're gonna lose, y'all. Shielding enhanced, Captain. I think we're going to lose. What? What happened? Victor? What? What? We won. How? How did we win? Does anyone have any ideas? I'm confused. They were about to blow us out of the sky. Oh look, all these missiles came. Oh, did we get some backup from someone? Yeah, I reckon light torpedo, hey. Gain four, oh, that, no, that would be really nice. Yeah, I think maybe the Atlas came to help us out. Is that what happened? Yeah, okay, yeah, this, yeah, this, this guy saved our bacon. Don't question it, just accept it, yeah. Yeah, probably something to do with the overarching story, yeah. You guys got it. You guys know what's going on. Which class though I'm too indecisive? Uh, either... Or not sharpshooters. One of the other three. Rangers, specialists, and... Um, grenadiers. Would all probably be okay, so... The director dispatched us for your safe return after hearing about the Atlas incident. We'll continue the pursuit of that ship. Your path to the station is secure. Oh, thanks, bro. Yeah, okay, well, that was good. Yeah, like 12, man. We were we were going down, eh? Home station up ahead, Captain. Preparing docking procedures. You and your crew disembark and head to your station quarters to rest while dock workers start unloading the cargo bay. Station director. 
Heard our researchers look at the data you brought back in that black box. While heavily encrypted, Rin managed to extract some data on the research they were conducting at the station. Whoa. Okay, Rin's... Rin's a special one, y'all. It has to do with the anomaly that swept through our system a while ago, knocking out a large part of our electronics. Solar Flare. Tien was here. The equipment aboard the research station was able to extract some sort of information from it, leading them to believe it was a message or signal of unknown origins. It's aliens, bro. We got aliens. Nice. Their data shows multiple star systems within the Breachway network were similarly affected, which led them to trace the tra trajectories to a set of coordinates where they converge. Whatever it may be, this information is too dangerous to keep here. The Solari will come looking for it sooner or later. They're already moving their fleets to close the system's breachway access points. They don't want this getting out. Take the black box with you and leave. Rin will accompany you to try and further decrypt the data. Judging by the Solari response, this signal might lead to something important that could shift the balance of power. Me and Ivan are joining you as well. We want to see this to the end. We are preparing a Corvette class gunship in the hangar for you. Yes! No more magpie, y'all! No more magpie. Posing as a mercenary will allow you to move freely within the Breachway network without raising suspicions. Once you are ready to leave, head to a random system in the Breachway network, and from there start making your way towards the signal. This should make it more difficult for the Solari to connect you to this whole thing. Godspeed, Captain. Oh wait, I wanted to... Oh well no, we don't want to equip the ship, we're getting a new ship. Cool! Oh, we can choose! Oh, no, we can't. They're all locked. But in theory, we can choose. Yeah, okay, but right now we only have this one. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. Sharpshooters, yeah, yeah, don't, don't do sharpshooters. The Doctor from Frostpunk, hello, welcome. Don't listen to Drifter, he doesn't know what he's talking about with sharpshooters. Yeah, they were by far the hardest of, of the base classes. This is the tutorial, yeah. Sharpshooters are bad because the sewer map exists, yeah. Alright, so... Right, yeah, so once we get more of this, we can upgrade. Because, yeah, we, we're, I think we're okay for ordnance, for ordnance, but we want more of this stuff. Alright, so... Yeah, and you can see that... Yeah, they have different... Different amounts. Oh, and they have different crew as well. Oh, so we're not going to keep the same crew. Oh, that's sad. I like our crew. I mean, not... Not, not Rin, obviously, but but the other people are cool. Um, Alright, so we accept. And then we out of here. I really like the cell-shaded graphics, too. It looks like a comic book. It's cool. Whoa! Okay, guys. Holy moly. <laughs> it got more complex. The rookie only run? Yeah, 50k YouTube subs. That's right. Maybe we'll get there someday. Put them into columns and fire at the enemy. <laughs> Real FTL vibes, yeah. This is this is cool. Most map nodes are under the control of one of the game's factions. Events at these nodes are influenced by your standing with the controlling faction. Some events can present choices that can modify your relation with one or more factions. So it sounds like there'll be a fair bit of replayability, which is cool. One pip hated can lead to negative event outcomes and possible ambushes. Lower chance of ambushes and of negative events. Standard out event outcomes can lead to fire support from allied ships in combat and better rewards. Cool. Captain, our sensors detect a group of Stark and gunships on our flight path. Looks like they're trying to block any ships from entering the system through this breachway corridor. Judging by the large number of civilian ships further ahead, the blockade is meant to keep people in. 
It looks like the gunships are in disarray. They haven't reacted to our approach. If we make a run at full burn, we can punch through with a little fighting. Alright, so that's these guys. So... Okay, so these guys are our friends. So, yeah, okay, so... We, the blue guys don't like us. The red guys don't like us. Right, so, okay, and then they're your factions, right. And so, are we meant to be getting here? Is that the objective? Or are we meant to be, yeah, are we meant to be getting here, maybe? I don't, I don't actually know. There's no save either, it just auto saves, so permanent Iron Man. Oh god. Busy with trying to prevent the civilians from fleeing the system, only one gunship has noticed our approach. It's heading our way on an intercept course. Here we go. Will the rookies only run have the fabled return of the OG Paul Green? That does sound like a good idea, doesn't it? I think we'll have to make that happen. Alright, cool. So gain four, sustain one, heat, lose up to four. Oh, okay. So you gain it, but then you lose it again. Gain one. Oh. Right, so this has different cards. Is that... Is that on cooldown? What? Why can't I use it? Oh no, because after because I've forgotten how the game works already. Boom! All right, that was cool. Damn, look at all the energy we gained. Oh, that's so good. Deal 4 damage. All pulse cards played during this turn deal plus 1 damage. Alright, their lasers are down, y'all. So I guess we don't really need to play the barrier, do they? Hey, they can't hurt us. So, <laughs> that's fine. So you still only draw two cards. I wonder why that is. Maybe we don't have enough cards in our deck. How dare you, sir. Gain one energy for two you spend this turn. Eh. I started XCOM 2 again after two years and the second mission dropped nine enemies on me, had three rookies and one other. Still don't know how they all live. Yeah, yeah, I... The second mission shouldn't have reinforcements because it's, uh, it's rough. Been meaning to ask, but is there a mod class where your soldiers have a wide option of things they want to use? Like within the same class, two soldiers can choose to be medics or gunmen. I'm not sure. Your soldiers survived, are they meant to do that? I want to try something like a grunt playthrough where everyone is equally insignificant. Is there that mod where like the abilities are totally random and you can just equip ev everyone with whatever you want? I feel like that's a thing, but I could be, could be wrong. Um... Yeah, so let's just... Enemy shields down. Um, okay, so we'll do that. We'll do shields that. up, Captain. Can we play two shields in one turn? Yes? Oh, that's ridiculous. That's insane. I mean, it probably wasn't a good idea, but... 
you know, I, I think we're fine here, so. See ya. Do you mean RPG? Oh, that might be what I mean. I'm not actually sure what it's called. Or even if it, if it even works the way I think it does. Deal 4 damage, return a laser card from the discard pile to your hand, it cannot return itself. But we don't have any lasers that go to the discard pile. But I think we need more attacks there, because during that fight we were just kind of sitting there with nothing to do. God, that would be beastly though, wouldn't it? Alright, you know, I'm gonna go Echo Pulse. Give us more attacks. Alright, so more... More blockade. The last fight drew the attention of everyone in the area. Multiple ships are approaching on intercept course, but only one of them is close enough to get into combat range. Press on and prepare for combat. Two of them were in bleed out, so they gave dying their best shot. It didn't help that Advent landed shots through full cover like it didn't exist. Yeah. That's rough, hey? Holy moly. Okay, well, boom. <laughs> Just wiped out their laser before they could do anything. Oh, bad luck, buddies. Bad luck, bros. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. Um, yeah, that is that is ridiculous. Oh, damn it. Oh, I forgot that that used the green one as well. And I didn't even need the shield because he can't attack us. Oh dear, I messed this up, y'all. But no, he's activated his shield. Damn, that just like absorbed it. Ugh. No shield for you, buddy. Shielding enhanced. Alright, can't do anything to us, nice. Yeah, this is what we want. We need this guy back. Well, we didn't really, but we took no damage. That's really good. Add a card. Heavy pulse. Deal eight dam. Oh, eight damage. Shield amplifier would be really good, eh? Oh, that could be good though. Nah, but we 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 want more damage. Although, if we don't have the resources to use it... Yeah, alright, let's go that. Alright. After we breach the blockade, multiple ships try to make a run and exit the system. As we mix in with the group of civilian vessels, the Stark and gunships break off pursuit and focus on keeping the fleeing ships in. Incoming message requests, Captain. It's impossible to isolate the source with so many ships grouped together. Unknown contact. It looks like a... What are those blue things from Mass Effect and Asari? Greetings, Captain. Impressive skills you've shown there. I could use the services of a bold freelancer such as yourself. I'm a data broker by trade. Yeah, bro. It's uh, it's what's her name? Liara. Willing to offer a generous reward in exchange for some valuable intel. I need to gather data on the most powerful gunships in... Oh, God. 
All you need to do is send your combat logs to the specified coordinates after fighting two elite ships and I'll transfer 150 credits on delivery. Oh, and Captain, pick a weapon from my reserves while you're at it. You'll need all the firepower you can get. Consider it an investment in your future. Take the basic launcher MK1. Well, that doesn't sound like it's going to be good against elites. Open the ship status window and assign a crew member to operate the newly added missile equipment. Um... Well, how do we do that? Okay, so we can get the AI to do it for us. What does our crew gain experience? So, how do we get more crew? Right, so you can change what they do. Oh, that's interesting. Cool, okay. So you might say, I don't care about shields and I want to put her on that one. Interesting. Alright. Um. What did it say reactor power did again? Don't know. Don't know. <laughs> Alright, so we're neutral with those guys. We're disliked with these guys. So who should we... Who should we fight? Because I feel like if we encounter these guys, that might make them not like us, which would be really bad. If we go this way, we could... We could get here, although that's elite combat. We don't really want to do that. I reckon we try and get here. Alright, so we're going this way. The wreckage in front of us seems to be the source of the signal our sensors detected. The ship's reactor is close to a critical state and could explode at any time. No survivors detected on board. Do you want to move in closer to inspect the wreckage? Yes. Upon closer inspection, you see a piece of equipment that is still in working condition. It's risky, but we can attempt to salvage it before any other scavenger ship shows up and the reactor goes critical. Yeah, let's do it. As your ship approaches the wreck, you discover you aren't the only one brave or stupid enough to attempt to salvage. Startled, the other ship panics and prepares to engage. Uh-oh. I think I want to randomize what they get. Just put a singular random number generator and let luck sort them out. Yeah, yeah I've thought about doing something like that. I discovered something monstrous today, XCOM fanfic. <laughs> yeah, it, it is a thing, and um, I, I wouldn't recommend it. It's the Shadow Broker. Yeah, it really is the Shadow Broker. Spokesman, I thought you died after telling us about the network. <laughs> yeah. Apparently he does show up in, um, in that trash mobile game. Killzone was saying that. Shields up, Captain. Man, we just used a lot of... a lot of things. Uh-oh. Okay, now we get five cards. Okay, so I guess because there's more cards in our deck. Yep, so let's do that. Or oh, pulse cards played. What's a pulse card? Eh? Something with pulse in the name, I guess. Which we don't have, so... Alright. 
they are they are hitting us aren't they but we're hitting them turn a laser card from the discard pile to your hand cannot return itself um see if we did that that's going to disable the laser hey and then And then a laser on the next turn should finish him off because he can't do anything. So boom, got him, got him. Probably Viper fan fiction. Let's hope not. Relentless, twenty-five percent chance to return an attack card from your discard pile to your hand every time you play an attack. And yeah, that doesn't sound that good. Deal two damage three times in one turn. Deplete. Oh, yeah. Shield amplifier cache. Add two random resource cards to your deck. Ammo dump, capacitor, asteroid, ore. Yeah, that could be good. Okay. Yeah, so like, what did I... Oh. Precious time was lost in combat, but the wreckage is still there. The reactor is slowly inching towards a critical state, but there is still some time left for salvaging any, salvaging any useful equipment. What do you want to do, Captain? Well, we can't turn around now. Sunk cost fallacy. Attempt to salvage the equipment. 30% chance success. 25% wreck explodes, dealing 5. Only 5 hull damage. That's fine. What? Okay, so... But they were not happy with the captain risking everyone's lives like that. Bro, it was five damage. Can you all just settle down? Having a sook about that. Um... Alright, so yeah, like I don't actually know what this does. Oh, it gave us another point. Right, so we can do that. Okay, yeah, well, that's really cool then. They all having a whinge over five damage. It will we'll be fine. Watch as that five damage comes back to haunt me, hey? So where are we right now? We're, we're here, are we? I guess we're here, yeah. You were hailed by a maintenance ship not too far away from your position. They offered to perform... Some repairs from price. Yes, we'll do that. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, we kind of want to go through the the elite ships right now. I don't. I don't think we'll be able to beat them. Traversing Solari conflict zones is strictly prohibited. A patrol ship moves in to intercept. Some of that stuff scarred me. You're not the only one. You're not the only one. Okay, so... Um, yeah, then we'll do that. He's got two missiles coming at him. Um, so that should be good. He is going to put up his shield though. There's not really anything we can do about that though, so whatever.
Enemy shields down. Yeah. Nice. Um. Deal four damage. Return a laser card from the dis discard pile to your hand. Fusion materials. Do we want to do that? I guess there's no reason not to, is there? And then we'll do that. Although, if we could do that, hey. It doesn't matter if he's got shields if he can't attack us. Yeah! Take that, fool! Okay, that did nothing. Is that because we need to have those cards in our deck? Okay, well that's... That's good to know that that was a complete waste. Sweet. Oh no. Oh no, it puts them back in our deck, not in our hand. Duh. Enemy shields down. Oh, we're we're real close. We're real close. Yeah, all right. So as long as we get an attack, attacking card. Yep, yeah, we're good. Boom. So can you run out of cards in a fight, or does your deck cycle? I think it cycles, Un unless it specifically says that it gets discarded, like some of them do. But um, most of them, yeah, most of them they get recycled. Gain 10 shield points. If you are unshielded, gain one duration. Disable one production. Yeah. No, we... Oh, we've only got these two, do we? Oh no. No, we got these three. Yeah, see, that could be good, hey. Oh, cool. Conflict zone. Allied. An allied free roam gunship has detected the presence of a hostile in your general area. As you are in direct firing range, you are being asked to engage the enemy ship. The allied gunship will provide long distance fire support. Oh yeah, we can do that. Um, Alright, so what's he got? Not, not much. What does this do? She wants security against enemy hacks. Oh man, you can hack guys. That's disturbing. Uh, yeah, and then there's not much else we can do, so we won't do anything. Boom. 
boom. Oh yeah, this guy's. We don't even need the, the long range support. Oh look, here it comes though. This guy's about to get blown up. Um, boom. And then yeah, then he's just gonna get destroyed. Yeah, got him. Insert, you gotta go, have a good one. Thank you for joining us. Light torpedo. Oh yeah. Do four damage, next turn enemy attack deal. Oh, that sounds good. Let's do that. I think we, we are ending up with too many attacking cards, hey, not enough of anything else. Um, Alright, so should we try one of these elite things and see see what happens? Why not? Sensors pick up a massive heat. A massive heat reading up ahead. An elite Solari gunship is approaching fast. Alright. If we die, we die. I like deck builders, so I might grab this once it comes out. Yeah, well, I think the demo, you can, like, anyone can play that right now for free. So you can try it out before you buy if you want. Uh, but, yeah, it's uh, it's fun. So, they can attack us every turn. That's bad, isn't it? What do we want to take out? This thing? Oh, yeah, I should have used that. I should have used... Oh, I played myself, y'all. That's okay. Um... Yeah, well, we are, we are about to take some damage. Oh, and I should have used this, too. I've really screwed this up. I didn't play that well at all. Oh. can attack twice. Awesome. Oh. We can either attack or use our shield. No, we can do both. Never mind. Sweet. But god, we are completely out of energy, hey? That's not good. That is not good. Yeah, we might need that. And then, yeah, that's all we'll do. This. Oh, no, wait. Our shields are gone. I guess we'll put that up again then. These guys are just hardcore, eh? Target hit, Captain. There we go. The missile delivered the goods. Delivered the goods. All right, so that's taken out. Love it. That's taken out. Well, no, it's not. But we're getting there. Okay, so these elite ships aren't too bad so far. Um, what if we get rid of a blue and give us a green? Oh, why did I think that would be enough to do? <laughs> oh, no, because that's per turn. It doesn't actually give you more right now in this moment. Uh, so that's bad. Alright, well... 
fire the laser. Yeah, I think I've I think I've screwed myself here. Cause yeah, we we need more blue. Although we are going to be really beaten up after this, I guess I didn't think about that. Hey. And we don't have enough to do. Uh, oh yeah, that would be really nice. And then boom. Brick a bra, you gotta go. Have a good one, buddy. We'll see you later. Um, if we do that. If we do that. Then if we. Or should we use a shield? Maybe we should. Shields up, Captain. All right. Oh, I should have done that one first. I played myself. All right, cool. Right, he's got one HP, one more attack, and we win. Oh gosh. This is brutal. Alright, come on. Come on. There we go, we got him. A triangulator. So... Gain two shield points for every one energy production. Given us more of what we already have, hey. Yeah, let's go that one. Triangulator. Let's hope it's good. Alright, so. Um. What does a triangulator do? Every third missile fired in a single turn increases missile. Well, that doesn't... Sound like it's going to be very good, does it? Can we? How do we discard stuff? What does this do? Oh no, that gets rid of the whole thing. But I think we got too many of these. How do I? How do I get rid of a card? Can I get... I can't. What? Can't get rid of cards? Surely there's got to be a way. Didn't it, it... It told me how to do this before, didn't it? Oh, I can't remember. Mob, hello. How's it going? Um, alright, well... We, we keep what we have then. Alright, so we need... The wreckage in front of us seems to be the source of the signal of our sensors. Do you want to move in closer to inspect the wreckage? Oh, yeah, okay. The gripper tool has a firm hold on the last attachment point of the equipment. You cautiously pull it to one side and it clicks open. The scavenger drone carefully removes its cargo from wreckage and brings the equipment on board. Take the basic shield and blast off. Oh, 
Oh, okay, so what's the difference? Right, so... Lose three hull points, gain 12 shield. Oh. That sounds awful. Why, why on earth would we want that? So will that give us money? It didn't give us the money! Damn it, man. Oh, wait. I forgot that our hull's all screwed up, hey? Whoops. This could be the end of the run, y'all. This could be the end of the run. Uh, what's the game? The game is Breachway. It's, uh, it's coming out next month. We're just playing the demo. And it's, uh, it's, it's quite fun. I'm enjoying it. Well, if we do that, and if we do that, and then, yeah, he's going to attack us with, like, all that stuff. Ah! System disruption. What does that do? Play this card to remove... Oh, so it costs us energy. But is that... Will it just sit there until... Yeah, so it just blocks one of our card slots. God, he's got missiles coming in and we don't have shields, bros. This is bad. This is really bad. Um, yeah, let's just end the turn and let's just see what happens. Eh? Oh. I I think we dead, y'all. I think we dead. Yeah, I, I forgot that the... Target uh, hit, Captain. I forgot about the, the hull that we hadn't repaired it. one attack that he can't use on us now. Oh no! No, 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 no! Alright, well we've got a barrier, thank goodness. Holy moly, we might actually win! Maybe. Oh wait, that was dumb. He can't attack us. Why did I use my shield? Me dumb bros. I was panicking. So it's space Yu-Gi-Oh. It kind of is, to be honest. It kind of is. Um, so we've got six, so we could fire the Kraken missile. There's a chance that we live. Yeah. Bros, we, we actually survived. Holy moly, we're only with 13 health, but... Um... Slay the Spire. Never played that one. But I'm willing to take your word for it. By the time your crew has finished gathering any useful savages from the enemy wreckage, the combat log data transfer is complete. 150 credits received. Cool. Thanks, Liara. Judging by the time between the data transfers and the incoming message, the data broker's ship 
Should be within scanner range, but our sensors are not picking anything up. Yeah, like maybe if we can get here, they'll heal us. Can I not? Can, can I not go that way? Oh no! Oh no! 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 no. Oh no! Rejects your docking request as it could compromise the security of his station. Okay, well, maintenance ship. Offers to service your ship's equipment for a price. Oh yeah, can you fix our hull, bro? Okay. Maintenance crew stand ready to provide their services. Streamline the operation of your equipment. Remove a card. Extend the capabilities of your equipment. Add a card. Do we want to do that? Do we want to add a card? I guess we do. Okay. Maybe I should have removed one. That's a conflict zone, bro. We can't go that way? Why can't we go that way? I wanted to... We're in trouble. Shortly after getting into comms range, they reach out to you. Greetings, Captain. We were en route to sell some scrap, but our engineers broke down before we could cash in, leaving us stranded here with no credits to call on a maintenance ship. You are a friend to the free roamers, so please help us out. Uh, send your engineer on board to fix the engines. Yes. You're a lifesaver, Captain. We've been drifting for a couple of days now, and we're fearing pirates might find our ship first. We don't have much to give in return, but please take this support subsystem we set in the cargo pod. Uh, cool, okay, thank you. What does an assembler do? Oh, yeah, look at that. So... So that's already got the triangulator. What does that do? Every third, yeah, like, I'm not going to be firing three missiles in one turn, so... And two random resources every time you play a card from this equipment. Right. But can it only go in that? Where does it go? Oh, it goes in there. Okay, I see. It kind of highlights where it goes. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I want to... How do I get rid of the triangulator? Can I get rid of it? I can't... I can't figure this out. I want the ammo pod, man! I want to swap! Is it like, once it's in, it's in? And you ain't... You ain't changing it, you scum. Okay, well that's kind of trash then, but whatever. Um... Yeah, let's let's generate three energy per turn, hey? All right, well, bros, we have a boss battle. We're gonna die. I think this is. I honestly think this is the end. Yeah. Sector is locked down for termination. Yeah, this is over, bro. I'm adding more things to your backlog at this rate. What do you mean? Waiting for the point in the game where the difficulty spikes and you have to spend hours grinding low-level enemies to progress. Yeah. Hopefully not, but um, but yeah, like like we, bro, we've got 13 health. Like it's over. It is absolutely over.
because he's just going to kill us like this turn, yeah. Oh no, we're... Um... takes out one, but he's still got a lot more, doesn't he? So yeah, I don't I don't like our chances here. Unless we pull a whole heap of shield cards. Oh Yeah, like we yeah, like we're just not getting any shields. That's a bummer. Oh, look, we could do that, I guess. That might keep us alive for two seconds longer. Oh, and then we can use that. And, okay, now we have 14 shield points. Well, that's something. God help us. Target reached, Captain. Gaming backlog, I mean, I've already mentioned two games you haven't played yet. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh... It's pretty much infinite at this point, hey? When Doshawans, how's it going? Asteroid ore. Alright, so... Yeah, like it's all just... Oh dear, this is so bad, hey. Oh no, bros. Target hit, Captain. Okay, well that's good. Alright, um... Blinding pulse. Yeah, if we do that one first... And I guess we try to get that. Then, uh, do we... Alright. Two of each resource. Well, I mean, now, now's the time, hey. Fuck, <laughs> man. Hole's taking damage. Yes, it is. Out, oh, it's over. We lose. We lose. Bummer. Bummer. Still, that was uh, that was fun. At this point, you are the one on the bridge while your crew is flying away in the escape pods. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't, um... I didn't plan my path out well enough. I didn't realise we couldn't go sideways. So that kind of screwed us. Kind of really screwed us. Yeah, it's only ships, I think, Mondo. And Darth, hello. Um, yeah, no, that was good, though. I enjoyed that. Um... I don't... I think we kind of experienced it, though, so I don't really think we need to... Did the game just get louder? It did, eh? I don't really think we need to keep playing, hey? And I guess that's the thing, you just see how far you can get each time. Which is, uh, which is pretty interesting. So... Do we want to play something else? Do we feel like playing something else? Yeah, 
it's kind of um because because we, we were doing that for about two hours and i normally like to stream for three hours so do we uh play something as master chief collection i don't think i have it installed to be honest i was thinking maybe some phoenix point just as like a random playthrough But I don't know, is that is that something that, that people would, would want to see? And so if you don't do the prologue, what happens? You just start out in the main spot. You do, okay, so okay, cool. So we don't have to do the tutorial again. That's that's pretty sweet. Would have probably gotten Phoenix Point, uh, but the mods just aren't there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They um, they kind of, they kind of did it to themselves. To be fair, they kind of did it to themselves. You want to play Phoenix Point again? I do want to play Phoenix Point again. Phoenix Point has been on my backlog forever. Well, I tell you what, let's let's play it. Let's we'll play it for an hour or two, and uh, if if people aren't interested, they can bounce, and if people are, they can stay around. So I might stop the stream for like five minutes, and when I come back, we'll play Phoenix Point. Does that uh, does that sound like a good idea? Been on my backlog forever. Yeah. Yeah, alright, cool. So, um, yeah, well, that was Breachway. Like I said, um, the demo is out now. I think the game releases in about a month. I think it releases in March sometime. So, um, yeah, I like it. I, I think it's fun. I, I really like it. I like the art style. I like the combat. I don't fully understand the best way to build my deck yet, but, but yeah, nice game. I, I do approve. So, uh, yeah, I will end the stream here, and we will be back in, like, five minutes. So, hopefully, I'll see you guys then. And if not, um, take it easy, and have a good one.